guys good morning and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new vlog today is feeling oh i'm just looking outside it is raining it's feeling very cozy autumn day at home today i might even vlog over a couple of days i'm not really sure but we're just planning on having a bit of a cozy time together um so yeah if you haven't already go and grab a nice cozy hot drink get comfy and let's spend this next half an hour or however long this video is going to be together um i also wanted to very very kindly thank today's video sponsor tales.com who i'm sure you guys have heard me talk about before if you are new to my channel though hello welcome my name is freya and i have a golden retriever called barney who is um just He's my fair baby. I love him so much. And um, yeah, I am partnering with tails.com today to basically bring you guys an offer. So for any other fur baby parents out there or soon to be parents, if you are, let me know. That is so exciting, whether you're rescuing or getting a new puppy. Um, or if you already have a dog and you've been thinking about switching over their food and you're not already with Tails, they have an amazing offer on at the moment. If you're a new customer signing up with them, then you can use my discount code FREYA5, which will get you an incredible first month free of dog food. So try it out, see how your dog gets on with it. The main kind of selling point USP for me personally and the reason why I got onto Tails before they even worked with me was um, the fact that you have like tailor-made recipes specific to your dogs. It's super easy to go online onto their website. You can put in a bit of information about your dog, how active they are, for instance, their age, their weight. You also get 50% off wet food and treats, only one pound for delivery fee as well. So yeah, it, it's a no-brainer just to try it out and see how you get on anyway. You can cancel any time if you decide it's not for you, but I personally have found that Barney loves it. And he is a bit of a fussy eater. Historically, we have gone through several different brands of food to try and get one that he likes. And this, by far, is the longest we've ever had him on a food and he still loves it. To this day, it has helped with his digestion issues. We had not so fun times being a parent that has to pick up the dog poop that has helped massively and then the other thing obviously like i say with him being a fussy eater the fact that he actually eats and enjoys it massive two thumbs up from me and i'll leave a link in the description box below and tails.com create a tailor-made recipe specifically for your dog which is so bespoke and so personalized and just means the world to me as a parent of a dog to know that they are getting what they need and just as a brand in general they have been fantastic working with me and prior to me working with with them as well like i said i was a paying customer i am a paying customer i get barney's treats from their website as well the yak chews in particular he loves um, we've got some other ones actually that have just been delivered this morning. Some, we've got some piggy ears. He loves them. And loads of other training treats as well that are really small for um, teaching tricks and new bits, which we love to do with Barney. If you are not new, you know that he loves his little training tricks. I think our favourite is Speak and Whisper. Um, just because it's quite funny when you're out and about and people say, oh, can you do anything? Yeah, you can do speak and he barks and then whisper and he goes, oh. <laughs> So, so grateful for them for working with me on today's video. And yeah, don't forget to check them out. Use that discount code. Let me know how you get on with that first month of free food. And without further ado, I feel like we're gonna enjoy the rest of uh, this vlog as like a very cozy, wholesome feeling vlog starting with making the bed i've yet to make the bed this morning so let's go do that then we'll head out on a nice cozy dog walk and we'll see where the rest of the day takes us season coming up to bed last night and I now every single day when I make the bed 
I'm gonna be checking because <laughs> I always put the throws on the floor and the cushions, like these cushions on the floor at night. And now every time, <laughs> I just know it every day, I'm gonna be just sort of like doing that with the throw first, just to check there's definitely nothing on it. Um, before making the bed, it is coming into spider season. The joys of September. I love this bench that I got from Home Barn. I don't keep it at the end of the bed, which is probably a bit, um, a bit excessive to move it every night, but it's easy enough to do. I just essentially, this is what I'm talking about. I just move it across there. Just, I don't know why. I just feel like if the duvet gets caught on it or it's easier to move it away when I'm making the bed with the throws and stuff anyway, that I just, um, I just move it to one side. But yeah. It's gorgeous, isn't it? My little rustic bench from Home Barn. This is how our bedroom is currently looking. I definitely feel like I could have a bit of a switch out. I've managed to put both of, ignore Tom's water bottle, the Zara lamps, but that new one that I found at the charity shop, that needs a light bulb. So my old Zara lamp over there, that one's the um, currently working. I also I'm think I'm gonna move that book because obviously then they're at different levels. So a bit of a switch up. I'm thinking maybe some artwork over here. Obviously we have this artwork, which is by a small business called Art With Feeling. Um, I've got that one there, but I'm thinking of maybe like a, I don't know, like a brass framed, I don't, we could actually go quite big there, you know, and have like a really big piece of artwork. Um, and then we have this little nook and corner here, which is where I found little Spider-Man just by himself over there so I managed to get Tom to, to let him out last night um, but we've got this little chair from Amazon I think that's linked on my Amazon storefront and these both are HomeSense TK Maxx got my little laundry basket which are looking a bit sad I need to clip them back together they are Zara Home I can pop those pillows back on the bed now and also this is Barney's little bed although he's brought up two toys last night he usually only has the dog up here so I need to take that one down and then this kind of section here, this sort of set of drawers I've got from Dunelm, uh, just a couple of books styled up, this little lamp. It was from the range, wasn't it? It was when I got the other big one as well. Um, and then a little Espar diffuser, a couple of candles on here. It's looking incredibly cosy outside. Um, lip liner of the day is Iconic Nude. I, I've just realized I've not put any like lip gloss or lip balm on, which I usually do, but it's kind of like more of a matte finish today, unintentionally. Maybe I will go and put some uh, lip balm on. I always just feel incomplete without something else as well as the lip liner. Hair up day as well today. Cozy jumper on from Zara last year. This one was from my Lululemon leggings. Some little white company socks. Feeling very, very cozy. Here he is, the main man himself. Waiting by the front door, ready for a W, A, L, K. Oh, that's a good stretch, Barney, babe. That's a good stretch. Got to take that parcel to the post office. I've got some returns to do. Oh, boy, I had a nice head massage. <laughs> yeah, cutie pie. My pretty sunflowers are still thriving. Love these. They lasted ages, actually. Um, just adding a bit of autumnal brightness to this space. We can't just speak because daddy's over there on the phone. But can you give me a whisper? Whisper. Good boy. Good boy. My speak is too loud at the minute because daddy's on the phone.
It is actually, it's a new day and it is feeling incredibly blustery, cozy outside. Tom has just gone to cricket for the day. It's his last game of the season and they are not going to be getting on. It's also his last game at the club he's at. So I think he will be, sorry, can you hear Barney drinking his water? So anyway, as I was saying, I think he will be spending a bit of time there, but then and I think it will get cooled off. So then he'll come back. And I think we might go to Lime Park for a little afternoon stroll later on. Um, but these have just been delivered and I thought I would show you them. I had some photos printed to switch up with the autumn decor to pop within some frames that we've got, say like beach pictures in or just to add a bit of like autumn vibe to the place now i got loads printed i'm definitely not going to frame all of these i'm even probably only going to frame like maybe two two or three but um i just the nostalgia of having print out photos for me i just love it so i think i might actually get into the habit of having more printed and maybe doing some more scrapbooking or albums or something because like i said for me the nostalgia of looking through photo albums when i was younger and um, like boxes of photos my parents would keep. We just don't do that anymore. It's just all on our phones, all on our screens, and it's just nice to have them print out, whether you frame them or not, I think, anyway. So these are some kind of pumpkin-themed, autumn-themed photos that we got from like the pumpkin patch last year. Love that, he's giving me kisses. We also have um, just some like seasonal walks with like leaves and stuff little halloween pumpkin i think that was two years no last year maybe these are from pet hamper i've still got that bandana that i might use on him at this halloween as well autumn walls i think that one was at chatsworth house a couple of years ago again more kind of like field pictures these are all of just like barney basically and <laughs> the halloween kind of like a moody picture that one um with like a low light that was a halloween blanket uh that was two years ago at a different pumpkin patch a nice misty autumn walk um that's at macclesfield forest we were going to go there this weekend but i think we're going to go next weekend so i'll vlog that if i can because it's the most cozy year especially if it's raining even if it's raining i'd still go for a macclesfield forest walk it's just so magical there um and then that one's at chatsworth as well so yeah anyway i've got those um to switch out with some prints so i'm going to do that first then i am going to head to i want to pop to home bargains there's a new zaflora and new cleaning products which i need to stock up on anyway hopefully we don't tend to have great home bargains now but hopefully i will find them um, but there's like basically some cozy scents. Mrs. Hinch has bought one out. So I'm getting on with some washing today and I am almost out of fabric conditioner. So that's just my opportunity to go and see if they've got the new cozy one. So we'll pop out and do that. Then we'll head back, hopefully go for a walk this afternoon at, at Lime Park. And then I'm thinking just a cozy evening, a bath, maybe some baking. And we're watching a new series, which just feels like i just love it it's called yellowstone if you've not seen it before it's a very set in america it, in like ranches that i just it makes me want to go and visit i said to tom right next trip we're gonna do let's go to america let's book it for me the nostalgia of going back having lived there in the past and also doing like all the kind of shopping content in america for you guys i would love heading to target walmart bath and body works out there in fact this time of year is a good time of year to go with all the halloweeny bits i feel like i would need to go with an empty suitcase though pottery barn oh. it's been you all along but I've been too caught up to see it, baby We can have it all If I just could get myself together I'm not wasting another minute If it goes up in flames, I'll take the pain If I never try 
please tell me why I'm incapable of going to the shop to get some fabric conditioner without it turning into some big shopping trip. You know what, half the time guys, I justify it as it's my job to show you some new and bits and some things that I think that you would love. So that's what I'm saying to myself. However, realistically, when I think about back to my childhood, this is exactly what I used to do as well. I'd go out on a shopping trip with my mum, I'd spend all my pocket money and my work money and I'd get lots of things. I'd get home, I'd lay everything out. I just love shopping. It's called retail therapy for a reason, okay? Plus, I'm always excited to get home and show you the bits that I've picked up. So, I did go to Home Bargains, like I said I would. And there's no sign of the news of Flora yet. It's called Cozy Up, I think. So, it's right up my street. So I will be keeping my eyes peeled for it and I will be going back to the shops to try and find it. I did see the new Mrs. Hinch range. So I picked up some of the fabric conditioner. It's in the scent White Musk and Golden Maple. It's really interesting. I, I don't know if it smells like autumn necessarily. But it's a bit deeper than her usual, like, florally scent. So it is really nice. Um, but yeah, anyway, I picked up the gone full blown Unstoppables in there. Fabric conditioner as well for the sofa and upholstery. We've got some air mist and we've got one of the little bathroom small space. These work really well. And couldn't find a spray, like a work surface spray, which I was hoping for. So. I will have to keep my eyes filled for that as well. And then a couple of seasonal snacks. You'll see as well within this video, I'm a sucker for a seasonal snack. And I love these. We bought these at the weekend, just the standard one, these half-coated foxes. But they now do a winter spiced edition. So that sounds good to me. And also these little flips. I wouldn't ordinarily get these. I've had them before and they are nice, but the fact that they do cinnamon bun flavour had to get them obviously so then i popped it to a b&m and i grabbed some of their like well i've not seen these before i've been to b&m and i had a look at their autumn range but i've not seen these ones before are you bored with me again it's always when i'm vlogging you seem to do a really loud yawn i don't know if it's whether to get my attention or what but you have my attention so they have these coffee cups and we love a tea or coffee on our walks, our morning walks. These two designs that they have are adorable. I think this one's my favourite. I loved it so, so much that I got both of those. And then I also saw in their baking section, they had these four pack of cupcake boxes. And I thought I could give some to our neighbour who always like gives us his like produce. We quite often give him stuff as well, just as like a thank you. Um, so I thought we could take some over to him and then also we could try some cupcakes. So I got the little cupcakes as well that match these autumn ones at two pounds. So rather than do this as a cake that I saw, they do this caramel biscuit cake, good for this time of the year, kind of like a Lotus Biscoff chocolate cake. I thought we could make up a mixture and do little cupcakes. So a very easy bake, box kits like that, you only get like a little bit of icing sugar. So I always do my own butter icing. I wonder if I've got any little toppers that I could add on like autumn toppers or maybe just the biscuit crumb will be enough, but thought we could do that together. And then I popped two Tesco's because I needed to get some unsalted butter for that. Uh, and whilst I was there, Tesco's has a Greg's in it and I noticed they had um, pumpkin spice lattes. So I grabbed myself one of those as well as pumpkin spice uh, flavored donut, new in. I feel like this bag's gonna take off all the icing. Mm, a little bit. There's a bit of a crumb on there. Should we give it a little taste test on camera? I think there's like a pumpkin thing in the middle of it. Mmm. Oh, wow. That's lovely. I like their pumpkin spice lattes. Obviously, it's no Starbucks one, but they are quite nice. But this tastes like it could be from Starbucks. <laughs> and this is why... I'm gonna give these cupcakes away, otherwise 
it's just too much sugar overload. Whilst I was in Tesco's though as well, a cozy afternoon activity that I have been loving is any kind of TV on in the background, whether it be a Harry Potter movie or Virgin River or Yellowstone that we've been watching or a new series on Netflix, something like that. To be doing something as well, whether it be like a coloring book, I kind of want to get like an autumn coloring book. They only had Halloween ones and I wanted an autumn one, but I did see that they do the autumn puzzler edition, the harvest puzzle collection. Something that I like to do, I don't know why, I think it's because it even though I'm saying less screen time and I have the TV on in the background, it is less screen time because I'm more focused on this than I am watching the movie. It's more like I'll put a movie on that I've maybe seen before or a series that's just kind of a bit of background noise. So to do something like this at the same time, it just really helps me switch off. I have a very active work orientated brain. So especially at this time of the year, my mind is on overdrive all the time. To the point where sometimes I'm going to sleep and I'm thinking up video ideas or things I could do within vlogs that I just can't settle. So any kind of mindfulness practice or activity that does allow my brain to just switch off. That's why I think I like these kind of puzzle books quite a lot. And that's why also I buy these kind of things whilst traveling, whilst going away or whatever, because it helps me switch off from feeling anxious about traveling or whatever it may be that I'm feeling anxious about. I've got two clothing items. I haven't tried them on yet, and I might do a bit of styling around and playing with them over on my Instagram, if you're not already following. I saw these two midi, or I say midi, but they're actually quite long. They're more like maxi or mid, mid axi lengths on me. Got them both in a size 10, and these beautiful colors for autumn and winter, because this one's quite, uh, metallic almost it's kind of like silvery with like a nice cream knit and some chunky boots burgundy is the color of the season i feel like i'm seeing it everywhere at the moment these skirts are from the fnf edit anyway um yeah so we're gonna get the baking we're gonna go out for a nice walk tom is gonna be home soon so we are planning on doing a lime park national trust walk that's where we're planning on going and then just a nice cozy evening. It's still looking very overcast. My favorite kind of weather. I'm not wasting another minute. If it goes up in flames, I'll take the pain. If I never try to get it, I can just forget it. I'm done. wondering what these are some of you may have no interest in this or whatsoever but we are just uh we're drying out some of our herbs so that we can use our herb bed which is still doing well actually it's still honestly thriving but just so that we can have some dried ones to keep us going throughout winter but anyone know like recommendations what am i meant to be doing uh, during the winter months, do we pop some and bring them in? Do we leave them outside in the in the beds? You know, I'm just we're beginners here. We don't know what we're doing. Obviously, we're drying some out, but I would quite like to have my drying racks back <laughs> for um, my clothes. Um, so yeah, these ones are pretty much done. We could probably decant those into some jars. In terms of the actual her beds outside do some of them survive the whole winter i feel like some of them will tips and recommendations let me know
washed it because I want to go for a run tomorrow morning so I thought I would just kind of like put a bit of oil in it help hydrate it for this evening sleep on it and then wash it tomorrow so I'm in fresh PJs I'll show you the cupcakes that I made earlier these three we'll just keep for ourselves this was like when I was running out of frosting there's also one cupcake left with the tiniest amount of frosting had a bite delicious I was happy with the taste of them. Got my little puzzle book ready for sitting down. I'm just gonna light this candle, get cozy, pop the TV on. Tom is in the shower, so when he gets back down, we will pop on some Yellowstone. We might order a takeaway. I'm not sure what we're gonna have for dinner just yet, but oh, doesn't it feel good when you've had a, such a lovely day to just be in fresh PJs and sat on the sofa, ready to relax. to close off today's vlog i hope you guys have enjoyed it do let me know by giving me a thumbs up subscribing for more if you haven't already subscribed it means the world and of course don't forget any fur baby parents out there to check out tales.com for your tailor-made recipe for your dog i will leave the link in the description box below where you can use that link with my code freya5 to get your first month free plus 50 percent off wet food and treats with only one pound delivery an offer not to be missed let me know how you guys get on thank you to them for working with me on today's video and i hope to see you guys very very soon in my next one bye guys <laughs>